Hi, I'm Andre from Cross Country and I'm here with Lars from Swing to hear about uh, a new wing you're just launching. Yes, um, we've launched uh, the new Agera ENC glider um, and it's a high performance glider uh, with the ENC, ENC rated mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, the glider is uh, let me say a little bit difficult to uh, describe or to mm -hmm. describe the behavior because if you have a look at the rating mm -hmm. it doesn't look like a high-end ENC glider mm -hmm. but regarding performance it is mm -hmm. but uh, the flying behavior is like a high performance regarding uh, damping and regarding uh, controlling the glider mm -hmm. so uh, yeah you should the pilots should have good piloting skills uh, mm -hmm. to fly it okay so what do you say, it's more like a mid-C or a high-C? It depends. <laughs> depends how good you are. <laughs> yes, it depends uh, what you are talking about. Mm. Uh, if you talk about performance, mm. it's a high-C. Mm -hmm. uh, if you talk about safety, and of course there's... Uh, yeah, uh, EN testing. Yep. EN testing. From reading the test report, it's mm -hmm. not a high-C, because mm -hmm. actually we have only two Cs. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think one is uh, for big ears and the other one is regarding brake travel. Okay. But the flying behavior is mm -hmm. definitely like a high C or mm -hmm. even like a, a high performance glider, like a two liner or whatever. So it's very reactive, mm -hmm. uh, lots of communication of the canopy mm -hmm. to the pilot. Uh, so it's not, uh, I think it's not the best glider to upgrade from, from low level B to yeah. ENC or mm -hmm. something. Yeah because it really feels like a high performance glider and that's what it is actually. What's the, what's the aspect ratio on it? The aspect ratio is 6.3 mm -hmm. but I think this is not the main thing to talk about because mm -hmm. uh, we have this special situation uh, mm -hmm. due to the rust system inside. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because if you do the maneuvers with the rust system inside mm -hmm then you have a very smooth reaction and this is what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. We don't want uh, pilots uh, to, uh, how to, how to say, we don't want to motivate pilots to mm -hmm. upgrade too fast. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Because they think the rust system will prevent me from every kind of problems. Yeah. So as long as uh, the collapses uh, will stay in front of the wall of the rust system inside, mm -hmm. you won't have a problem. Mm -hmm. uh, but of course, there's no 100% guarantee that mm -hmm. it will never ever exceed the rust system. Mm -hmm. And then we are talking about high NC, of course, like yeah. for all the others. So it's uh, for us, it's uh, really difficult mm -hmm. to point out right Mm -hmm. uh, for whom the glider is made for yeah, yeah. because uh, and uh, this is what we try to describe very clearly that we uh, talk about pilots competition pilots mm -hmm. uh, or yeah pilots who want to have a high performance feeling mm -hmm. but don't want to fly END gliders mm -hmm. and who of course who trust in the rust system mm -hmm. uh, that it's more stable and most of the collapses uh, will not be as difficult to handle yeah, yeah. like others so would you would you say that the 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 main uses maybe not talking about pilots but looking at uses would be mostly big cross country flying and competition flying exactly hmm. so i think it's not right to just to buy uh, such a glider to uh, do a little bit of thermaling hmm. Uh, without doing cross-country flying, without competing, uh, mm -hmm. so uh, of course the target group is uh, yeah cross-country pilots, mm -hmm. but uh, not uh, yeah how to say mm -hmm. average cross-country yeah. pilots, yeah. but uh, ambitious yeah. cross-country pilots as well as competition pilots. Maybe people that have done a, an SIV or two or three and are very experienced on what they want to do and are uh, exactly. equipped to deal with what might happen in strong conditions. Yeah. Um, when do you expect uh, it to start shipping if it hasn't started already? Uh, we have uh, the center three sizes certified already. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not finished, but mm -hmm. all the maneuvers, test flights have been done mm -hmm. for certification. So if everything is going right, then I think we can start delivery from beginning of October mm -hmm. of those sizes. Mm -hmm. Uh, size XS and L is still missing, mm -hmm. so it might take a little, little bit longer for mm -hmm. those sizes okay. to come up to the market. 
It's great. And I think you said as well there's a new harness that you, yes. uh, you got out. Do you want to tell me about that? Yes. Uh, so the harness, the Reverse 3, is a mm -hmm. reversible harness. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's an upgrade of uh, its uh, predecessor, you yeah, say? Yeah, predecessor, yeah. Uh, and the main difference uh, is uh, that it's available in four sizes instead of three, like mm -hmm. before. So it's easier to find the right size the right uh, for the pilot. The next very yeah, obvious or visible uh, difference is uh, the new color of the harness. Mm -hmm. And then we did some uh, small upgrades, of course, mm -hmm. like a retract system of the accelerator and small things for the mm -hmm. walking sticks. You have yeah, yeah, a, the, a special... Yeah, you can fix them to the harness mm -hmm. and things like this. But uh, the main thing is uh, that it's available in uh, four sizes now instead of three. And uh, the rest is very similar to the predecessor. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, I, I take it it's a bit of an all-rounder uh, harness yes. that fits many purposes in many types of pilots. You also have the color-coordinated sides and carabiners. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, would you say it's from school to intermediate to advanced, depending on what people want to do with it? It depends. Some schools prefer foam protection for training mm -hmm. and others have no problem with the uh, uh, airbag. Mm -hmm. So this one is made with airbag. So if you don't like airbag for training, then you will not uh, uh, use it sure. for school. Mm -hmm. And yeah, to be honest, maybe uh, it's, uh, uh, it would be a little bit of pity to mm -hmm. <laughs> To train people yeah. because uh, it's quite expensive it's a very uh, um, mm -hmm. yeah because of the deuter back part and so mm -hmm. on it's not a simple made harness it's mm -hmm. uh, yeah let me say some kind of a high-end uh, mm -hmm. reversible harness mm -hmm. how um, how what is the price when it's when it comes out uh, price is um, if I'm right I'm not 100% sure mm -hmm. but I think it's 970 mm -hmm. Uh, the SRP mm -hmm. and uh, when yeah. do you expect it to come out or if is it coming out already yeah it has already uh, I think four weeks ago okay. we started to sell it but it's presented to the public here for the very first time so we gave our dealers time to buy demo harnesses to put into their shops and so on so that they know a little bit more mm -hmm. than the pilot but yeah, I think due to social media, it isn't like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a perfect place to end. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And we'll see you very soon. Thank you. Cheers.